so it's back to putting it on a chest because I have a lot to talk about because guess who hasn't vlogged much in a while? And I'm sorry! <laughs> She's feeling good. And I'll explain to you guys why I said this because I didn't post anything about it. But first, I'm going to put you guys on my chest. Not my, not this chest, that chest. Whee! So it's back to putting it on a chest because I have a lot to talk about because guess who hasn't vlogged much in a while? And I'm sorry. <laughs> Life has gotten to me. I keep saying, oh, I'm going to do more, and then I don't, and I'm just like, I fail as a vlogger, so. How I have 185 subscribers now? I don't know. I would love to know that. Why do you guys put up with me? But, oh well. So, I'm going to give you the rundown of things that have been going on as of late. Because, yeah, most of my time's been just working. And stuff like that. So, the first thing is going to be about my health. Um, the medicines I'm on are working. The extra Prozac and then the Wellbutrin, I feel like they're working. I'm not feeling as depressed. I actually feel more motivated to do stuff. So, hooray! Um, so, that's helping with the depression. But I still have... The tiredness, wanting to sleep a lot, um, dizziness and weight gain, and now I'm getting dry skin. All stuff that points to hypothyroidism. So, when I met my psychiatrist for the first time, I don't know if I told you guys, but I did meet him. He's really cool. He's the one that put me on these meds. He said that I have symptoms that are atypical for depression. So I told him... He was like, did you have blood work lately? And I said, yeah, about three or four months ago, I had blood work for hypothyroid. And he was like, you're going to do those again. Because he's pretty sure that the hypothyroid diagnosis lines up with my symptoms too. So I got it done. And then two weeks later, I don't remember how long ago it was, probably two or three weeks ago. But anyway, I get the results back. And I need to meet up with my GP to discuss it. But I saw the results, so the lowest your T4, which is your one of your thyroid hormones, can be is point, 0 0.9. Mine's at a 0 0.789, which apparently is lower than the first two tests they did. The first test and second, I don't know the exact numbers, but the first was still kind of low, but apparently not low enough to be concerning. The second time it was lower than that, but not enough to be concerning, and then the third time it's lower. But again, they think that it's for cause of no concern and that there's really no reason to start any treatment. To which I'm like, you know it's dropping and I have these symptoms and I am tired of them basically taking over my life and affecting me. Like, it affects my ability to socialize. It affects, it can affect my driving, especially the dizziness. It affects my confidence, that's for sure, because I'm gaining weight, so I'm looking like a fat walrus. Yay! Uh, and as you guys know, I'm extremely sarcastic. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to be meeting with my GP at some point to discuss stuff. Um, but for now, I'm still taking the Prozac, Wellbutrin, um, the birth control, and fish oil tablets. No, not tablets, capsules. I don't know how, if the fish oil is doing anything, but hey, why not? What's assy? What's assy? Oh, all done. Baby girl wants me to pet her. Hi. <laughs> Which actually leads to another thing, if I can get the camera moved around. Hi, guys. So you get to see part of the chest. Yay. But there's my baby girl. She gave us quite a health scare on Monday. Monday, she 
come came back in from inside and her breathing was really labored like it sounded like it was whistling it, which if you can hear listen it sounded like that but worse oh there goes my phone and of course that was cause for concern so we rushed her to the vet and he said that her lungs sounded weird but her heart sounded fine so they took x-rays turns out her heart is a little bit enlarged and there was looked like there was something going on with her lungs so they took blood work and basically i was told that if she has heartworms because we don't we haven't kept up with her heartworm prevention which is bad i know but if it was heartworms she'd be in stage four heart heart disease so she's basically screwed um and if it's not, if it's something more sinister, then he'd probably give her six to eight months to live. Which, of course, we know she's an old lady, but we want her to live as long as she can, huh, baby girl? Right, Sassy? Aw, thank you. Thank you, baby. Which, the next day, around eight in the morning, got a phone call, and all she has a lung infection. Which is actually great. Not, I mean, not great because it makes her feel sick. But, great as in, it's something that's treatable, and it's not going to shorten her life. So, yay! Sassy says, after I started the antibiotics, I felt better. He also put her on Lasix. So, she's on that, and on the antibiotic, and it makes you feel good, huh, baby? I love you. So, yeah, there is that. Um, I'm going to still pet her. I've done some more training with MRL. The pin I finally worked the pinch collar on him. And he did very, very well with the pinch collar. Like, he even healed. Which, if you guys know, he's not a very good healer. <laughs> healer. This one's a healer. A blue healer. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but he did fantastic. So, sorry, girly. I'm gonna sit up because this kind of hurts. MRL's been doing good. Um... I've also ordered him a new service dog vest. Um, it's like one that goes around the chest, around the belly, clips, and it's a black one with a little pull strap for counterbalance. Although eventually, I will be training him to do forward momentum pull for when my fatigue is really bad, or if I'm super dizzy, then he can help. He's not going to learn it now, of course not. Um, I've decided he may learn it around two or three years old maybe so yeah there's that um i got my hair cut you can already tell and yeah that's most of the major news that i could think of besides that i have another shift with blue so yay and i know some people have asked me especially online do i work for blue buffalo yes i do i am what's called a pet detective which means I am a sales rep, essentially. Talk with pet parents, form relationships, sell dog food or cat food. And it's really good. My favorite part is when I work at the pet store and I get to pet people's dogs. It's the best. Um, but I also wanted to show you, so... If you guys couldn't already tell, if... Well, no, I don't say it a whole lot online, but... MRL's birthday is on Tuesday. He's going to be one! Yay! Um... So, for his birthday, one, when he got his bark box, I got, like, what's called a pup pie. It's a big cookie that looks like a pie, and it's for his birthday. So, that's with the treats over there. And then, I just went to, I went to Petco, and I got him some stuff, and I thought I'd share them with you. So, the first thing that I really wanted to get for him, which he now is wearing, is a brand new collar. And I will put pictures up for it. It's blue, and it has Star Wars stuff, like R2-D2, C-3PO, Chewbacca. It's really cool. I really wanted the one that's for the Sith, but that would have blended into his fur too well. So he has the one he has on, and it looks wonderful. And I, I was like, a big boy needs a big boy collar. His whales were cute, but it's definitely time for him to move on to something else. And I also got him some other things. Shh, he doesn't know about these yet. I'm also not going to let him in my room for him to know. So, 
what I got him, first off, I got him Blue Buffalo Wilderness Wild Bites. Because I need a new training treats. And I do have the Blue Bits training treats, but those are kind of powdery and it's harder to keep like stuff from getting all over your fingers when it's in your treat bag because I'm running low on the treats I have in his treat bag. So I got these. I'm looking forward to him trying that. I'm not opening it yet, Sassy. Next thing I got, pound of treats from the treat bar. Um, if you sign up for the Pals Rewards through Petco, you can get 10% off on the website and you can also get a free pound of treats. So, these are pretty much a lot of the same treats that were there before. And hold on, Sassy really wants one. I got her favorite one. The, one, the peanut butter sandwich one, which actually is human grade. Humans can eat it. I watched the manager just shove it in his face. It's actually quite delicious. It smells like peanut butter. Maybe. Go ahead. You like this one. Uh-oh. Hold on. There you go. There's also like the cheese circles and the donuts and the chocolate chip cookies and the cheese rings. The newest ones are little Halloween shapes. So there's a ghost and a bat. That's another ghost and another ghost. I think, are they just ghosts and bats? Maybe. Yeah, looks like just ghosts and bats. But I thought it'd be something new for him to try. And he's not getting these yet either. And you know, he's probably mad because he can hear the rappers. But he's not getting any right just yet. Because it's not his birthday. And then the last thing I got him is this new toy. It squeaks. Um, it, it got a little bit of crinkle to it. It has a humongous squeaker. And if you can't already tell, it's the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. And on the back, it says she's the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy. So, I love this toy. I've been looking at the different toys, trying to find a good one for him. Because as you guys know, he's not allowed to have toys with stuffing. Because the little brat likes to rip the stuffing out. So, yay! So that is all of his birthday stuff. Which... He's not going to get until his birthday. He did get the collar early because I really wanted him to wear his new collar. So, yay! Um, otherwise, that's about it. I mean... Okay, let me try something. If I don't vlog every single day, I swear to you guys, I will try to do a once a week vlog. Because I do love vlogging. I do. I just don't want to give you guys boring content or maybe I'm too tired and not motivated. Like, I feel bad because I'm like, you know, there are people out there who have it way worse than you and yet they can vlog every day. And then look at you. You can't. Even though you are very capable of doing so. So, what do you do? Um, but if I don't do daily, I'm going to try to do once a week and see about that. Because I want to keep giving you guys content. I love you guys. You're great. You put up with me for some reason. So now I'm going to sign off for the night and just chill and eventually go to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Um, question of the day. Since Emeril's birthday is coming up, I want you guys to leave in the comments any assumptions you have about him because of course even though you guys have pretty much seen him through his whole life there could be things you don't know about him so we'll just make it like a little game put your assumptions down in the comments about him like what you think he likes or things he does or you know things like that and I will answer in another video if the assumptions are correct or not so fun little game it's like get to know the fluff butt so put your assumptions down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. And good night, sassy girl. I'm glad you're feeling better.